that's the factory group uh, that's a 5p next to it so you can see actually how tiny that is that was at um, 50 meters so I'm really not worried about it the uh, scope this is a Schmidt Bender 6x42 classic Hungarian model um, for some reason these particular ones are made in Hungary uh, it's obviously not going to, there um, it's quite a bit cheaper than the German one of exactly the same model for whatever reason um, this one is about 50 or 60 quid cheaper than the equivalent German one exactly the same tube exactly the same lens just assembled in Hungary uh, makes it that cheap bit cheaper for whatever reasons uh, it's brilliant brilliant piece of glass um, it is really really good in low light um, you can see as well or better with the scope um, in in well you know from basically dusk until darkness with this um, I've had another cheaper scope on my air rifle which kind of gave up the ghost when it get, got dark um, but this this is really good um, only six power now some people on other forums I've written on said oh you're gonna struggle with that well it covers about an inch at a hundred yards which I suppose probably for you lot is about the, the width of that bolt knob um, not a not a massive problem for me really um, I mean as long as the rabbits within a hundred yards I'll knock it over um, I mean a hundred yards is a long way for a rabbit anyway so not a great problem for me um, also with the small objective lens it does sit lower on the rifle and you get a better um, head position on the, on the stock here um, now just one last thing we will I'll just have a little look at this which I know we can get quite readily in the UK but kinda can be a little bit difficult to get in the US I understand especially in some states um, this is sound moderator um, reason it's called a sound moderator and not a silencer is because it doesn't silence it it just moderates the muzzle blast it's basically a can with a void inside and a series of baffles the baffles is uh, all it is is a uh, this particular one's made of basically all aluminium is a tube with holes drilled in it like that um, where the hot gas from the, the rifle can dissipate and cool down before it comes out which is essentially what the muzzle blast is does quite a good job this is relatively cheap about 30 pounds um, I'm not sure what that is in dollars I'm afraid but um, all I really wanted this for is so I could shoot the thing without ear defenders because they get kind of hot especially in summer uh, oh, there we go but in all it's good it's, it's, it's a good good design it's quite easy to clean I clean it each time so it doesn't go all gunked up um, other thing you should do is always store this um, separately to your rifle um, heard a horror story of a bloke went in to get a, buy a new rifle go take the sound moderator off and chop the rifle in as um, part exchange only problem is it couldn't get the couldn't get the mod off it basically welded itself to the barrel so they had to chop the moderator off and he had to rebarrel his rifle and he couldn't buy a new one so good 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 point always to store this separately um, just so you don't end up like that bloke basically that's that this is my little rifle um, I'm really happy with it. Um, as I say, if you if you want a rimfire, but you don't want the, the stocks of normal, if you like, um, Marlins or the Savages or the CZs, which are, which, are, which are actually really good value for money. I think I if I had to have one of those, it would be the CZ. I don't like the the build of the the C, the Marlins or the, the Savages really. Um, but the CZs are really good value for money. I think they started about. 300 400 pounds um, but if if you want something a little bit special I would recommend you give this a look 
Uh, that's basically that. Cheers for watching.